Great radio stations across the land, JoePags.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email, all that and more, plus the live video feed. It's the Joe Pags Show. Glad to have you here. Really glad to have back my friend, uh, unbelievable investigative reporter from UncoverDC.com. It's Tracy Beans. Tracy, how are you? How you doing? Uh, oh, I'm living the dream. We're staying safe. The family's safe. You guys good? Everybody's good. Thank you. So how do you continue doing your job? Let's just start here. I mean, you're an investigative reporter that really uh, digs through stuff, and you, you ask incredible questions on your podcast, and you go out and put microphones in people's faces. This has to be you know, hampering your ability a little bit, no? No. I do everything from the safety of my computer. Nice. Very safe. And you're uncovering DC digitally. Yes, because who wants to be there? Not me. <laughs> Nobody. Especially Rand Paul has it now. You've got other people have it now. And these people keep on meeting together. Plus, they can't decide on giving people aid and help during Rand this. Paul. Thir- this is nuts, right? Well, this whole thing with Pelosi and Schumer is absolutely disgusting. Like, I didn't think it could get any worse. And right. it keeps on getting worse. But Rand Paul is actually asymptomatic, which I find very interesting. Yeah, no, it is. And uh, at first, I thought that if you were asymptomatic, that means that you probably don't have it. But it turns out it could take a while to 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 show up. That's why Ted Cruz quarantined himself for 14 days. And he doesn't have it. So yeah, I mean, watching that wrangling is kind of disgusting. Just, just, just one quick point on that. We've got Dan Crenshaw on today from the House of Representatives. Uh, just one quick point on that. Did, did they not take the example of Gavin Newsom and, and Andrew Cuomo? These people at least know how to bury the hatchet for a little while while we help the people that are in need. But what, what is Pelosi's deal? But that's sort of SOP for her, right? That's what she does. She doesn't really care as long as politically she gets what she wants. I mean, the things that they stuffed inside of this, relief package which yeah. i am like a little nervous about as it is to be honest because we don't have this money right it's really making me a little bit nervous but i mean there's nothing that we we, we can do about it right now but the, i mean d- gender equality on board on boards tax credits for solar energy right um mail-in voting same day voter registration what what is this it's horrible. It has nothing it's to horrible. do with anything, which is which is crazy. And, and originally, now, uh, the fact checkers are saying that Ben Sass was wrong about this, but Ben Sass said that Pelosi originally wanted guarantees that abortion would continue to be funded. And that like, was... What are we talking about here? A few versions ago. But, but the left is claiming that she never said that. I don't think Ben Sass is lying. I'm just going to put it out there. It's no. Tracy Beans, UncoverDC.com. Go and follow her on Twitter at T-R-A-C-Y-B-E-A-N-Z. And she's a great follow. And you've been very helpful to me with my following there as well. Let's get into the, uh, the what the president calls the Chinese virus. It is sur- certainly emanating from China. Calling it that is not anything but geographical. Sort of like MERS is the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, let's get into that. And uh, I'm Italian. You're Italian in our ethnicity. Yeah. Um, and we're watching Italy, and I had no idea till you and I spoke why Italy was sort of ground zero. I, I was, what's going on? Immigrants coming in that shouldn't be coming in. How are they slipping the coronavirus in? What is the connection to China? I had no clue what you've uncovered. Why Italy, Tracy? Italy is, um, for decades now, since the early 80s, they've had a, an influx, a massive influx of Chinese immigration. Um, and what they did was they went to northern Italy and they started working for Italian businesses, making textiles, etc. And then mm. they took over that industry in Italy and they basically pushed out Italian small businesses, Italian families, and they made their own empire in Italy doing textile work so they could stamp it made in Italy, but they were doing it the Chinese way. Ill- illegal immigration rampant there of Chinese. Um, they There was money laundering scandals between the Bank of China and Italy with Chinese billions and billions of euros coming out of Italy into China through the Bank of China. Um, and then just recently, this past March, in March 2019, there was a deal struck between the Italian government and the Chinese government for what's called One Belt, One Road. It's basically like the Silk Road from way, way back, where China has now revitalized um, a bunch of ports up in northern Italy. They have made this sort of partnership so that they would both work together. Their economies are now sort of codependent. China's making a killing. They rescued Italy from the crisis that they were beginning to find themselves in. And when this virus hit in February hard, hard, the mayor of Florence um, started a countrywide sort of social media campaign called Hug a Chinese using video what? from the government of China 
that produced this video that that all people in Italy should hug their Chinese neighbor because if if you know we shouldn't be racist against Chinese people for this virus everybody should be included under the guise of being quote woke they basically push Chinese propaganda onto their people and that is likely a large you know, a large contributing factor to why so many people in Italy got sick. They were pushing these people to do the opposite of social distancing because they're under the thumb of the Chinese government. And China doesn't like anyone to know that, but it's true. It's Tracy Beans, UncoverDC.com. Go follow her, Tracy Beans, on uh, on on uh, Twitter. Yeah, what's interesting is I had no idea that this, th- there was this influx of Chinese folks into northern Italy. I have nothing against Chinese folks. I mean, I've got a Chinese daughter who I went and adopted in China. So, I mean, it's not about the people. It's about the fact that the government there was hiding the fact, the, the fact that this virus started in Wuhan, China. And I had no idea that there was a connection with Italy whatsoever. I mean, yeah. I, I sort of get the feeling that there was some money changing hands as well to allow the immigrants from China to take over these industries. Were, were local politicians getting greased in, in Italy to allow this to happen? Yes. Yes, it's been corruption upon corruption, and it kind of sparked a, a a nationalist populist movement in Italy, like we're seeing here in the States and across other countries, because they got sick and tired of being taken advantage of, where yeah. Chinese businesses wouldn't follow any rules whatsoever. There are whole towns and villages that used to be Italian that are now strictly Chinese. They have their own markets. They don't speak um, Italian. They wow. speak Chinese. It's really, really something. I, doing the research for this took me several days, like what I learned was stunning. I had no idea. President Trump tried to stop Italy from doing this and they just ignored him. Um, you know, they brought in 5G. They they are doing the whole tech rollout. So it's it's a big deal there. And they're now beholden. And this is why you're seeing all this Chinese aid f- to Italy. It's not necessarily because they want to be humanitarian. Right. It's they're protecting their investment is what it is. Wow. It's Tracy Beans. Go follow her at, at Tracy Beans with a Z at the end on uh, on Twitter. Also, go to UncoverDC.com. Check out her podcast as well. It's amazing. So uh, let me ask you this. The EU, what does this have to do with it? I'm guessing, and again, it's just me putting it together, listening to you. You'll correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but the EU was basically, Europe was borderless. You can go anywhere you wanted. Once you were in, you were in, you can go anywhere you wanted to. Is that part and parcel to how this happened as well? Um, I, I, you know, as a nation, Italy made these decisions and it wasn't necessarily embraced by all of the EU either. Okay. You know, we're seeing right now a bunch of corruption inside there. There's a, the, the, I believe it's the finance, the former finance minister from Greece has begun releasing, um, you know, transcripts and information from recordings he made while inside of EU meetings about how they were making decisions, how there was no transparency. So the EU is really in bad shape right now. Um, this virus is overshadowing his releases, but they're out there. So there's a lot going on. It's uh, Tracy Beans. It, the, 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 who's the boss? The Prime Minister of Italy. Uh, do, do we even know that person's name at this point? Is this a leftist person? that? Because you said there's a populist uprising like there was here. Might a conservative take over and start, and start you know, reinvigorating that part of Italy with Italian culture again? I don't know how that would even be possible. Really? There are so many. There is 300,000 documented um, or 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 registered. Wow. And countless, countless more. And there's a very rich and ripe human smuggling operation. Um, tons, tons of that going on as well. And it's so overwhelming at this point. There, they've been trying to crack down. There are bought off politicians. It's it's horrible. I I don't know how that would even happen. Well, what are the Italian people saying? And and I wonder this: Why northern Italy? Because there are plenty of ports in southern Italy and, and elsewhere too. Why there? I don't know. I think it was the 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 left leaning, okay, sort of politics like, like more of that accepting area. of people coming in. Okay, right. And you know, at first they were benefiting from this cheap labor. Yeah, they could get things done. And and what sat what was sacrificed was the quality. But you're getting more for less. Yeah. You know, they're outbidding local local businesses. They just took over. They basically came in and, and took over. And this hug a Chinese thing, nobody believes it when I say it. But it was on the it was it was being talked about on the internet back then. But nobody had put all the pieces. Is together. there is there a video of this? Yes. I, yes. You, you have to give me the video. I've got to post it. I've got it's to post the video in article. conjunction with this. Okay. Yeah, it's linked in the article. Okay. You can watch the video. And, hug and, a Chinese. They were saying, 
And, and, yeah. and, and again, we don't know what part of China they were from. We don't know if they were infected or not. As you're saying, you might be hugging somebody who is there illegally, and we have they didn't go through the proper channels to where we know that they're healthy before they got there. And you've got some idiot, some ass wagon from Florence, Florencia, saying, mm-hmm. yeah, go hug somebody. <laughs> yeah, don't, and, don't worry you know, about they, it. They have not released, in addition, they have not released the ethnicity of the people who are passing away in Italy. Wow. We don't know if they're Chinese. We don't know if they're Italian. We That's don't, an you important know what I mean? point. Yeah, they're just yeah. saying in Italy. They're not saying yeah. who it was. I mean, how do we find that out? We don't, do we? No, not really. The only other thing I'll say is I, I've been watching this really carefully, and, and this is just speculation on my part, but you're seeing that Wuhan stopped testing. They're not testing anymore. They're not testing in China anymore, so you're not seeing any new cases of this virus. And I'll just, I guess, end by saying if China really cared about this virus at all, they'd still be quarantining people. They'd still have their borders locked down. In my opinion, looking at their reaction to this, I, I'm starting to think that they overreacted to this that way on purpose to cause this fear. Now they don't care anymore. They don't care. They're not even testing new people anymore. If they really cared about what this virus could do, don't you think that they'd con- continue with what they were doing in the beginning? Well, I know that China is is all about image. It's all about its own honor. It's, quote, honor. So, Tracy, if they don't test, then they don't have to add any any new numbers. Well, why'd they do it in the beginning? It's a great question. I don't know. But also, one of the chief scientists in the beginning is just dead now, allegedly yeah. from coronavirus. It could have been from the government virus. So, at the end of the day, you've got China with this unbelievable impact on northern Italy. And, and most of us had no clue. What tipped you off that this might be happening? How did you know? I just started digging into what the connections between Italy and China were. But you had to know why. You had to know why it was Italy, right? Well, but the numbers. I mean, the numbers coming out of Italy were insane, and everybody was asking, what the heck's going on in Italy? Italy, Italy, everyone was all concerned, and I knew that they had been releasing these propaganda videos because I'd been following that, and I'm like, something's not – there's a piece missing here. And and so I just spent some time digging and found it. Before I let you go, and I appreciate the time today, an amazing article, we'll post all the links to it. Um, why Northern, uh, or, or actually, no, no, the better question is, are the numbers of those affected and dying in Italy all from Northern Italy? Are they all from that region? No, and there is a very, very, very detailed um, Wikipedia, believe it or not, entry that I did verify a lot of yeah. that gives the breakdown of the clusters and how they spread. Um, you're also finding now, Joe, they just released yesterday that a lot of these deaths had two and three comorbidities attached to them. So somebody could have gone in for a heart attack and then they tested them and they had coronavirus and then they were labeling the cause of death coronavirus. So they're starting to come out now and say our numbers may not be precise. Because the person so, might have died from the heart attack anyway, right, is what you're saying. Yeah. And, and you know, or they had congestive heart failure, yeah. COPD, and then it got this virus. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, unbelievable uh, research, as always. Unbelievable investigative reporting. It's Tracy Beans, T-R-A-C-Y-B-E-A-N-Z, over on Twitter and also UncoveredDC.com. Tracy, thanks a million. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. We're back after this on The Joe Pag Show. Stay right here.